Hi everyone, this is Rishabh Jain and I got an awesome informative video for you today. This is part one of a three-part NRF24L01 series. This is the video that will explain 1. What is the NRF24L01 module? 2. Where can it be used? And 3. How does it work? We will be covering Bluetooth and BLE principles in this video. On YouTube, a tutorial for connecting your phone to the module does not yet exist. I will be showing you how to do that in these tutorials. The next two videos will talk about Android app integration and Arduino receive and transmit. You can find information for those videos in the description below. Before we begin, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel for amazing technology videos frequently and consider liking the video. Feel free to ask any questions down in the comments section below. Without further ado, let's get started. So what is the NRF24L01? It's a single chip radio transceiver. Yep, you heard me right, transceiver. A device that can both transmit and receive information. The NRF24L01 operates on the 2.4 to 2.5 GHz ISM band. The data transfer rates on this module can be set to 250 kilobits per second, 1 megabyte per second, and 2 megabits per second. The NRF24L01 module transmits and receives data on a certain frequency, known as a channel. In order for two or more transceiver modules to communicate with each other, they need to be on the same channel. This channel could be any frequency in the 2.4 GHz ISM band. Now such transceiver modules could be a variety of things, such as a laptop, a smartphone, or your internet modem. Now let's take a look at a mini example. Here we have two modules, one TX meaning transmitter, and one RX, meaning receiver. When the data is sent, the receiver will automatically acknowledge the data and tell the transmitter about it. Now, this doesn't just have to be two NRF modules. It could even be a smartphone communicating with the module. It uses the same principle. The transmitter will send some sort of data over a specific frequency known as a channel. If the receiver is listening on that same channel, it will receive the data and automatically acknowledge the transmitter. Now, the roles of these two modules could swap, and one could transmit the data to the other. Let's move on to a very important topic. Each channel occupies a bandwidth of less than 1 MHz. This gives us 125 possible channels with 1 MHz spacing. So the module can use 125 different channels, which give a possibility to have a network of 125 independently working modules. This allows us to hook up many of these together and have them all communicating with each other. Now, let's switch gears to discuss Bluetooth. What could this module have to do with Bluetooth, you ask? Well, first, let's define Bluetooth. It's a standard technology in which two devices bond or pair with each other to transmit and receive data, very similar to the concepts we just discussed. Bluetooth Low Energy, also known as BLE, allows devices to consume low power, hence the name, and transmit small packets of data using Bluetooth. BLE has been used in novel applications, such as healthcare, fitness, beacons, and security. Developers have created libraries that one can use in conjunction with the Arduino to transmit and receive data on the NRF24L01 using Bluetooth Low Energy technology. We'll be going over how to do this in the next video, which you can watch down in the description below. Next, let's take a look at the module up close. The module operates on voltages from 1.9 to 3.6, and here is its pinout diagram. You can see the VCC pin where it receives the power. Remember not to connect this to a 5 volt source, as it will likely destroy your module. CE stands for chip enable. This allows us to specify whether it should be on high 
or load and should be either transmitting or receiving. We also have the MOSI and MISO pins. The MOSI pin is an input to the module, while the MISO pin is the output from the module. As mentioned earlier, we will be going over how to set up the electronics and program for the Arduino in the next video. And in another part, we will go over how you can connect the module to your phone. To recap, today we covered what the NRF24L01 Plus module is, where it can be used, how it works, and also some Bluetooth and BLE principles. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to ask any questions down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in part two.